Hello, my name is Ardi and we are going to solve problem 32 from Hitt's book, chapter 4. Determine the currents flowing out of the positive terminal of each voltage source in the circuit of the figure. Okay, get out from the positive terminal. So, maybe the direction of the loop will be like this, right? Because this is going out from positive terminal here and also like this. This is also going out from the positive terminal. Okay, so now let's name this as I1 and let's name this as I2. We can apply KVL to both I1 and I2. Let's do that. Let's first do KVL at I1. Okay, what does KVL say? KVL said that the sum of voltage in a loop is equal to zero. And now I will have minus one here. And then plus 4 multiplied by I1. And for this resistor here, I will have 1 multiplied by I1 minus I2. Okay, that will be equal to 0. And let's simplify this. I will have 5 I1 and then minus I2. That will equal to 1. Okay, I think nothing that we can do from here. Let's set this as equation number one. Okay, now let's do KVL at I2. Again, KVL said that the sum of voltage in a loop will equal to 0. Now, let's start from this 1 ohm resistor. So I'll have 1 multiplied by I2 minus I1 here then plus this is 5 i2 right so we'll have 5 i2 and then from here i will have minus 2 and that's all so all of that will equal to zero so i will have minus i1 plus 6 i2 and that will equal to 2 now let's save it as equation number 2 Okay, now we have two equation and two variables. We should be able to solve this. The easiest way is by using calculator, right? So now, now let's rewrite that as matrix form. So we have 5 minus 1 and then minus 1 and 6. And that will multiply by I1 and I2. And all of that will equal to 1. Okay, now let's plug to equation solver of the calculator. Let's do equation number 5. And we only need two variables. So I'll have 5 minus 1. And then 1. And then minus 1. And then 6. And finally, 2. So I will have our I1 here is 276. I1 is 276. The unit will be milliampere. And for I2 here, I will have 379. 379. The unit will be milliampere. And that is all that we need to do to solve this problem. This is for I1. The current that flowing out from the positive terminal of 1 volt voltage source. And I2 is the currents that flowing out from the positive terminal of 2 volt voltage source. Okay. I think that's all. Thank you for watching and see you in the next video. Bye-bye.